the best show on the internet. My name is Donna Summers. My name, uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is, I don't know, Diana Ross. And together we are legends. We are. And today we have a special <laughs> guest, the one and only, legendary, Whitney Tyler. Houston! <laughs> So we had a really good idea, which is rare, because usually we just copy what everyone else does on YouTube. Mm, but we have a game that we came up with. It's called the Shady Music Trivia Challenge. I, I'm like seething. I mean, I really can't wait. And it's based off of the Twitter Shady Music Facts. How much are they paying you? What is the budget? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is an undercover brand deal. <gasps> you took me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just host the game, and it's gonna be Mitch vs. Tyler. How much do you know about anything about everything? You know way more about pop than I do. I get Twitter notifications for this account. Oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Like, the fear in your eyes. First one to three wins and is the shadiest diva here. Oh my god, what a prize. I know. <laughs> like, if I get that, I'm changing my Twitter handle. Question one. What is currently charting higher on iTunes right now? Mm -hmm. Shake it off or bitch better have my money? Shake it off. It has to be shake it off. You're right. Okay. So that's a time. So no points given. So no. Points. Yeah. How many One Direction songs have made it to number one? Number one U.S. Billboard charts. Yes. How one hundred? How one hundred? Zero. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I literally have no clue. Um, I say zero. I want to say one. It's zero. Stunning. Yes. Uh, so but but they're always either. they're always number one in the U.K. But they haven't done it yet in the U.S. Next question. Okay. What has sold more, Justin Bieber's Christmas album, or all of Austin Mahone's albums total? Yes, has Justin to be the Bieber. Christmas album. Yeah. Because that would be shady. In the yeah. past week. <laughs> <laughs> Who is worth more, okay. Calvin Harris or Zayn Malik? Calvin. It, well, Calvin does all those Vegas gigs, so it has to be Calvin. You're both right, it's okay. no point, but bonus question. Let's see who gets closer to how much more is Calvin Harris worth. Oh god. I want to say like, like, thirty-five more. Million. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> one million, one million thirty-five. Uh, I'm gonna say a hundred million more. Okay, you were closer. It's eighty-seven it. million more. Wow. Which tour was higher grossing? Katy Perry's last tour or the Born This Way Ball? I want it to be the Born This Way Ball. I'm gonna say Prismatic. I feel like I have to say Born This Way because I saw a list recently that was like the top 10 grossing uh, tours and it was like all Madonna, a couple Gaga, and like Cher. Well, you're right. <gasps> Yay! I will gross really? Katy Perry's. Oh, there was another good question. Okay. But you already won. But let's we just keep, keep playing. We should keep playing. Okay. Who's won more Grammys in the past 10 years? Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears? Brinty. <laughs> oh. Is it Christina? Wait! Grammys? <laughs> Wait, no, Brinty hasn't gotten any. Brinty! <laughs> <It was> Brinty. <laughs> I don't know. She's such a legend. I'm gonna go. Are you going Brittany? Yeah. I say Christina. You get another oh point. Oh my god, I'm great at this. I don't know how many Christina's won, but she won one this year at this past Grammys. For Her what? <laughs> I'm pissed. Okay, last one. Mm -hmm. What is sold more? Jealous by Nick Jonas? Or Justin Bieber's last 10 singles? Oh my god. It has to be! Sorry, I made a throat noise. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm thinking about Nick Jonas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your, your throat already starts <laughs> it's like. It's already timing. <laughs> oh, no! -y. I mean, it has to be it Nick, has Jonas. To be Nick Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we are unbiased. We were just reading from the Twitter. Oh my god. I feel like people are gonna fandoms are gonna come after us. As they should. Ex Dina's <laughs> fandom? Oh, yeah. I am a lotus. No, you're not. <laughs> I am a bionic lotus. No. <laughs> licky, licky, yum, yum. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm being the shadiest person ever. Thank you. I'd like to thank me. Okay. Wait, yes. you got more Grammys this stuff you've been written. That's true. Oh my god, wow. That's cool. Oh, that's and more than Katy Perry. She won a, um, an MTV Best Ringtone VMA. Oh. <laughs> In 2009. <laughs> she went! And the last time we did the obsession. My weekly obsession is Ooh. this new pair of shoes. She like loves America. My weekly obsession to the on is meditation, girl. Oh my god. So when I got into meditation, I probably oh, took your I literally thought you were talking about 
somebody named Meditation Girl. Oh, like I a YouTuber. Meditation Girl. That's oh my cute. God. My alter ego. <laughs> no, we've just been really into it. It's been really leveling us out. My weekly obsession. She's looking around. I'm like. <laughs> like I love stuff. this coffee. I just got this coffee. It's hazelnut. Mm. It's my weekly obsession. It's so good. Where'd you get? Seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here's a good song, but listen to anything else today or I will burn you. <laughs> okay, so we've been on tour with Kelly Clarkson, as a lot of you know, and I have a new song that I'm completely obsessed with. It's called Piece by Piece. It's from her new album. It's an anthem. It's an anthem. Yeah. It is so good. And she, every single night, is like always tearing up yeah. or crying or can't finish the song because it's like means so much to her. Oh my god. What's your song of the week? My song of the week is a song called, um, Oh shit, I forgot what it's She called. loves it so much. I love it so much, <laughs> I forgot the title. It's called, um, oh, it's called Set Me Free by Robin and this band called La Bagasal Music. I don't know, but I love Robin. And it's is like, it new? A, it's very new, yeah. It just came out. My song of the week is Your Heart is a Muscle by Carly Rae Jepsen. Um, I've recently gotten to Carly Rae Jepsen and she's so good. Same I think day. she might be the most underrated <clears throat> pop artist of this decade. Oh wow. You know, I think I'm gonna say that. Stunning. Yeah. Oh, get it. So listen to it. She has one vine and it's us. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what a shady music fan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we have time for today on Super Fruit. And you should go to his channel too. We did something really fun. Mm -hmm. And you have to watch it. It was so <laughs> good. It was, it was so wild. Good. Goodbye. Ready? That's you. No! Goodbye. This stressed okay, me out last good. time. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about it. Goodbye. <laughs>